account back previously we have signed user to login activity now we have to draw that login activity first of all we have everything for us but now just i want to make we are we have made i think i have made here a style as a no action bar so i will create an action bar for that i will create a on layout new layout resource now in this select toolbar this is android that support that version 7 point wizard that tool i will make as app bar app bar now this has been created Now app bar has been created just I will make the preview of this match bar and height will be content. Now give the background color for now I will only keep color primary for now i will add more color later now this is app bar now in login activity i have to first of all include app bar for that let's remove that text view include layout layout name is ever and i will give id id will be login Now I have included this now here I want to add text input layout first of all you have to include this on the design it will build your gradle for some it will take some time let's wait for it now it has been indexed let's wait to finish it now i will drag this here now i have to place this below this let's do that i will add it from here here and here now i will change this to 15 and 15 This could be good for now. Now I will add more, more, and I will use later. Here, this is
it will be made later let's see 15 and 15. it is because that was not a text input layout so I should clear this again same Fifteen. Fifteen. I think this should have the same position. Fifteen. Fifteen. Now I need a button. Just make this match parent now button and another button. For this, my PC is a bit slow for now. I don't know why. Fifteen. Sorry for this. This is fifteen. This is also fifteen. Now, all the things for login activity has been made. Now. Let's change all the things. This is email input layout. Yes. This is password input. Out. This button is login button. And register button. Now let's change the value login. Don't have account register here. Now this is pretty good. Now here we have to modify something. Here instead of hint, I make email. Type is equal to email text email. Now this is good. Now another is password is hint and input type to password. This is text password, now the number password. Now this is this has been done for now. Let's try and see if we have made this. It is now it will run for me. I'll wait for that. 
now the app has been launched but this is looking so bad for me because no padding has been made here no margin has been set I should set this I should set this manually but now Now let's make that design and here uh, at the above I will make this to let's make a front for sorry for this not for this I have to make for this And it should line to me here and again this should be now not 15 20 and 20 let's run again if it's run faster now it is being installing and it has been installed but again it is hiding from me more the thing is hiding I will see that later but for now the concern is these are aligned for properly but it is not aligned I will set this and come back again now it is been visible more now this is good I have done I change 0 dp to match parent and match parent to both of these so it has been done now we have to do something here uh, if our this vortex is loading it should load faster mm, look at us I think this is sorry for this this is not our project and then now this is YouTube look at us I think I have added that file to my database authentication I have to go to authentication means this is signing method I have to choose one of their signing method here I have to enable this I will enable first of all this because I have no multi I have no multiple phone number to test it so email can be tested in it you can use Google login play games login game center Facebook Twitter github anonymous Yahoo Microsoft this has been added recently but before that they were not there anonymous was there but Yahoo and Microsoft were not and Twitter may be there now I have been enabled there now in authentication I have no user and I will add user here I will add my name is gmail.com and password to 1 2 3 4 5 6 add user your password should be at least 6 later now you have get your user ID this will be find on your app easily if you are authenticated now we have to 
do that process we have to log in using this email id and that password we have created now for that let's go to login activity first of all we have to use toolbar that toolbar has been showing what that was not a good looking for now for this now this here no, neither a name nor back button so we have to change that let's make this private toolbar which this should be of version 7 this you should use this toolbar not a simple one m toolbar private same as previously fire base oh, sorry for this fire base uh, yeah, now there are more thing private I think there is text input layout there are two text input this is email input and password input. now there are two button and you have to import that by alt enter there are two button login button and register button now let's find that m toolbar is equal to find view by idr dot id dot login login app bar now set support action bar to yam toolbar get support action bar dot set title to I will set to login user log in now get support convert that set home of home as never display home as never true now this is for toolbar now let's make email input is equal to find view id added id dot uh, email input layout password input is equal to find view by id added id dot password input layout now login button is equal to find view by id added id dot login button login register button is equal to find view id added id dot register now one thing is remain that it was m auth is equal to fire base auth dot get instance this will be the m auth now all the things has been made easily now here i have to first of all i have to listen for login login button dot set on click listener new on click listener now it is making us a method 
and a register button that said on click listener new on click listener it has been set now first of all i have to make a start login this way this is the function i will create here now it has been created uh, a string email is equal to email input dot get edit text it will have edit text and get text dot to string we have to convert to a string a string name sorry for this password is equal to password input dot get edit text dot get text dot to string this is what happening to us is now there are two fields email input layout and password input layout we are getting text in the form of a string as email and password from that and these are this is the login button we have find that button from by this id and we have set a one click listener means so when you click that some action will be performed this is the function i have created here you can you need not to create alt enter from the red one and it will automatically create that now i have get email and password now login is easy in the firebase as we have already a user i have created here with my name now it is easy to create before that we have to check if uh, this field are empty or not means the when when person click this button it will read from these two field if we have to check if they are empty or not that is text utils it will check is empty it will check if there is empty or not email or text util that is empty password this is the sign of or means or will denote if either of this is true means either of this a uh, field is empty it will get true and then our program will execute this part i will simply toast message is a uh, field must be filled else if they are any of uh, both of they are failed then we have to start login for that there is we have created m on dot sign in with email or password this will be the method now we have to pass two thing that is email and password in the form of email now i have to check if it is successful for that i will add add on complete listener i will use add on complete listener new on complete listener now this has been made for now if task dot is successful then i have to go to main activity for that i have to create intent previously we have done what is intent intent is used to move from one page to another intent main intent is equal to new intent login activity dot this comma main activity in that class we have to pass to class 
now I have to pass in 10 this is in 10 not in 10 the head flex intent dot clear tax or intent dot new tax start activity that is main intent now finish else we have to just post error message that we will get from here tax dot get exception dot get message now this will show me error message let's run that app and we will explain all the things later next and already launched that Now changes you have seen, now this back button is appear here, user login text is appear, now I have to input here. Now I will add after it gmail.com and password is simple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's log in and it should send me to main activity. Now, in next video, we will start about we'll showing how we will create new users from our application. Previously, we have uh, created from console of the Firebase, and before that, I want to add a button here for now uh, to use logout. Let's use that logout how you can uh, we have study about login and now let's make main activity where is main activity I will add a button here I will use this now This will be log out. log out. There is main activity. I will find that here private button log out button. Now log out button equal to find view by id r r id dot logout button i think this is the id for that i again view that yes that was the id now on logout button dot state on click listener New on click listener. Now simple send to login. Because we have already created that activity to send that, but before that we have to do uh, amot dot sign out. We have to sign out from the account. Let's run again, it will run faster because it is in hot boot mode. Let's see. Now app has been log that is logout button and it is it is sending me to now this has been done for now 
in next video we will make register activity and we have to register and say we have not handling any database till now we have to handle database here and in coming video we will make uh, main page looking attractive thank you for watching this video